Yeah, yeah that's true. Uh, but uh, we recorded most of the album uh, at Jens's uh, Fascination Street Studio in Erebro. Um, but yeah, some of the folk instruments uh, I re actually recorded back at home. Um, I did for most of our albums, actually. Just, you know, for practical reasons. Um, it, you know, save some time if you can work parallel, and that's basically the way. But yeah, it's actually quite easy. We just really liked his uh, production, so that's why we asked him, and yeah, he was available at that time. And, yeah, but working together with him turned out to be really uh, amazing. Challenging, though, he's a challenging producer, I would say, but that's, as a musician, the best you can ever get, I would say. So, yeah, it was an amazing time working together with Jens in the studio. Yeah, things change, that's true, and, uh, but... Honestly, I would say that it's rather the other way around, that um, things are more, even, even more chaotic today. Um, I mean, no, actually, they're not more chaotic, it's still the same, but, you know, today there's just a lot more work, our production became more elaborate, you know, including all the choirs and whatever. And, um, yeah, and there's just more work to do as well. Like, you know, there's more shows we are playing, even sometimes touring or uh, recording time in the studio. Um, you know, there's more administration work and so on. So, yeah, we, we still need to do the same amount of work in, you know, uh, not as much time as we have. Been. So sometimes it's even more chaotic today. But you know, it's art after all, and I think art needs to be chaotic somehow. Basically, uh, I was just looking for, for a one-word album title that, well, sounds nice. And yeah, when uh, looking through uh, Gaulish inscriptions, I wanted something in Gaulish. Um, I just came across this ancient tombstone uh, with that name Slani on it. And uh, yeah, I just really loved the sound of, of this name. And that's basically the whole story. And um, you know, this little girl, Slania, just kind of became like a, a fictional character, conceptually, of the album. Um, in the sense that, you know, the, the whole album just tells about the, the culture and the everyday life and mythology of the ancient Gauls and the ancient Legions. And, um, this girl, Slania, who, according to the tombstone, lived in the eastern regions of Switzerland, uh, kind of takes the listener by the hand and just leads him or her through her world and her time. That's basically the idea behind it. Yeah, that's correct. It's not exactly a... a concept album or something like that um, but you know there's still a little bit something like a golden thread um, the album is constructed or the track list is constructed in a way that the album kind of goes through the great wheel the wheel of the year uh, which is crucial in Celtic culture and um, which is uh, yeah, crucial in, in Celtic uh, religion and, and life in general and uh, yeah it's Basically, what the Celtic calendar is based on is to be up to a year with the four seasons and the, the Queen of and, and so on. And so, each of the four great festivals in Celtic culture has one instrumental track. Yeah. Yes, I did. Or we did. Um, I, I mean, of, of course, you, you can never expect something, but you can always aim for something, and you can always 
you know, hope for something. And most of all, you can work hard to get to some point. And, uh, and yeah, that's what we did. And that was our goal. And these were our hopes. And yeah, that's what we were doing ever since. <laughs>